carcass. There's a Chinook salmon carcass here. A very severely decayed fish. Uh, typically what we would do with these fish, this one we would deem too decayed for our study, so we would just cut it in half with a machete. Um, these guys are important. A lot of people think what we do out here is actually, they call it cleaning up the river, like removing the carcasses, because they are, they are not the best smelling thing in the world, but they're actually, it's very important that they get left in the river. These guys, when they decompose, they feed a lot of things in the river. They feed, obviously, the terrestrial birds and mammals and such, but they also feed aquatic invertebrates. They also provide nutrients for all the plants in this system. We count live fish and we count reds that we see in the river. We're also primarily looking for salmon carcasses. What we do with the carcasses is we collect them and we also collect some biologic samples from each carcass. We collect scales, otoliths, and sometimes what's called a coated wire tag. Coated wire tags are denoted by a fish having an adipose fin clip, meaning its adipose fin has been clipped. Those tags tell us, that clip tells us that it has a tag in it. That tag tells us what hatchery these fish came from. Uh, with the scales, we can determine the age of the fish. With the otoliths, we can also determine the age as well as what natal stream they came from and some facts about their life history.